The next thing I want to show you, I want to show you a lick that will actually work over both of those chords. And the reason it will work over both of the chords, I'm going to choose one note as our pedal tone that's found in both chords. And you guys are probably saying to me, well, it's either the C sharp or the A, right? Well, hopefully that's what you're saying. <laughs> anyway, you'd be right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the A note here at the top string at the fifth fret. Okay, so you see I'm using my little finger. You guys may need to, uh, there's a lot of players out there say, well, I don't use my little finger that much. Totally advocate you start using your little finger for all of your playing, especially if you want to do kind of wide spread licks and stuff like uh, this. If you don't use your little finger, you'll never be able to do those things. So when we get to the intervallic lines, I'm going to make you do some stretches that perhaps you hadn't done before. But anyway, um, over this, let's let's learn this lick, and this will fit over both of the chords. So A is the f is the root note of our first chord, the A major seven, and it's the fifth of the D major seven, so it's a great pedal tone over both chords. So here's the lick, starting with A to a G sharp, F sharp, A, E, A, D, a, C sharp, A, B, A, uh, A to A. Okay, and we can go lower than that too. We go A, F sharp, A, E. All right. Now the A obviously is a resolve over the D and the A, so it might be a good place for us to stop. So here's the lick again. Okay, and again, you can go lower too if you want to. Now phrasing that, obviously listen to the music. Okay, really killer musical idea. I love that kind of stuff. Anyway, let's play that now over the track. I'll play once over the two chords and then you guys. But jam along with me. I mean, obviously play along with me um, while I'm playing and then in the space, do your own thing. Here we go. <laughs> 